Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, I'm here uh, this morning with Rupert Jameson, current uh, Fever European champion, and we're going to talk a little bit about setting up your Fever to uh, to get the most speed on the race course. So, um, we start off the Fever uh, has the mast is fixed in the mast step and and fixed at deck level. Uh, so. Uh, to control our rig, we want to be able to straighten the mast to make the sail fuller and bend the mast to, uh, to depower it. So we're working around this fixed point at the mast gate. So to make the, the mast straight, uh, we start off with a shroud slack and pull on the jib halyard to press the mast against the front of the gate. And what you'll see happens when you do that is with the mast pressed hard against the front of the gate it's now bending back in the middle and forward at the top and that puts depth into the mainsail so uh, and, and that's the, the an ideal setup for light and and uh, the start of medium conditions so as it gets windier we want to bend the mast now the, so the first way to do that is to, to pull on the kicker uh, and what that does is it's pulling down on the leech by well, well, the kicker pulling down and pushing the mast forward uh, from the boom and that bends the mast backwards and starts to flatten the sail so that works initially but then as it gets windier you need to help the mast to bend independently of the, the kicking strap so this is the point where we adjust the jib halyard and the shrouds. So let's start by, by letting the jib halyard go. So the first step is to change the settings on the shrouds by moving the pins down on the rack. Now, you can normally go down one pin by that method. Do you want me to hold the pin at the bottom? Is that in? Then we'll, uh, we're going to change the other shroud as well. Okay, so that we've now adjusted the shrouds down by one pinhole. Now when we pull the jib halyard back on to tension up the rig, now the mast is only just touching the front of the, the mast gate instead of pressing hard against it. And the mast is now straight. So instead of being bent forwards at the top, it's now straight. So the sail is now a little bit flatter. As it gets windier still, uh, you need to increase the amount of mast bend even further. So we now need to find a way of getting the pins down even lower on the shroud plates. So we let the jib halyard off. And then you've got to, you're going to have to give the, the mast a bit of help here. And uh, if, if you're doing this with the main sail up, the easiest way to do this is just lean hard on the back of the boom. And Rupert will now attempt to get them as low as possible. Okay.
There are actually a number of ways of doing this. If the mainsail isn't up, you can get hold of the main halyard, go to the back of the boat and, and pull on the main halyard. But this is quite effective. Okay. That's okay. Now, the mast is pressed hard against the back of the mast gate. So what's happening is the mast is now bending backwards slightly. So we're now retention. That's it. And the mast is now still pressed against the, the back of the mast gate. So now when we pull on the kicker, it pulls the mast forward and the mast is even more bent than it was before and the sail is flatter. Now um, you, can, you can increase the mast bend by pulling down the shrouds even lower. <clears throat> it might take two or three of you to do it. So one holding the shroud plate, one doing the pin, one pulling the mast back. But it is possible to get down. So we've come down two holes from the most powerful position, but it is possible to get one, two, or even three pins lower than that. Uh, so essentially, what we're trying to do is bend the mast, flatten the sail, uh, and make the rig more efficient as the wind increases. The adjusting the jib halyard as well is important, and although this is just a, a boat straight out of the factory, it's a good idea to put calibration marks on the mast so you know how much jib halyard you're using because as you adjust the jib halyard so if I if I ease the jib halyard the mast moves back and if I pull it on it moves forward and that of course is affecting its position in the mast gate and as I said at the start the position in the mast gate affects the, the amount of mast bend you have so it's important to calibrate the, the jib halyard as well. Um, essentially, that's how to set the rig up. The other controls that will affect the fullness of the sail are the outhaul and the downhaul. Um, so, again, the harder you pull on both of those controls, the more you flatten the sail. Uh, and the Sailing in lighter winds, easing the outhaul slightly will increase the amount of power in the rig. But my recommendation is don't ease it too far for sailing upwind because if the bottom of the mainsail is too deep, uh, the sail will stall and you, you won't be able to point. My recommendation is just a fist sideways in the gap, any more than that is too much. So just pull it back on a little bit. And as we said, lots of, lots of downhaul is how you bend by pulling vertically down on the leading edge, the front edge of the sail. You'll help bend the top of the mast and flatten the sail off. Uh, even more than the kicker. And uh, that's, that's how to, uh, to, to, to set up your fever. Okay.